Hi everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Matilda and today we're going to have a walkthrough of our AI script creator. So if you want to do this together with me, please make sure to log into your StoryKit account and we'll take it step by step together. So once you are logged into the tool, the first thing you're going to do is of course to add or create a new project and then come up with some catchy name. Uh, and then we're going to click new video to get the whole thing going, of course, on new video. And at this first step, we actually don't need to do anything, at least not today. So we're just going to skip this part and click straight on write script. Same goes uh, in this view. I'm just going to remove the auto filling uh, function. But apart from that, we're not going to be working with any templates. We're just going to use a script. So just continue clicking new script and now we are entering the script editor view in the tool and to access the ai function we're going to open up this uh, text field and start adding some kind of written content and this could be you know a blog post or news article that you are promoting on your external channels but it can of course also be internal information or communication such as your policies or some other kind of presentation. So I am going to use a blog post that StoryKit has written. Uh, and for you, you can just copy paste just as, just as I am doing right now. You decide yourself how much you wanna uh, use. I'm gonna go with the whole blog post, copy, and then of course just paste it and here we don't need to do anything with the formatting just let it be as it is uh, and the next step and most exciting part of course is to tell the ai to start working its magic basically so we have something called creators which you can access in the right corner here once you open up this uh, menu you will see a bunch of different creators divided into different categories so we have everything from more press release or news, um, newsworthy things to recruitment, uh, case stories, blog content or more SEO adapted content to teasers. The list goes on and on here. It's pretty fun to see the different creators, uh, I would say. So choose one of these to decide what kind of angle you want the AI to, to have when working with your text. I'm going to go with the one called Three Takeaways today. I think it's a pretty good one uh, that gives you a pretty good summary of <laughs> anything written, basically. And then we're going to create a script. And now uh, the AI is starting to load and working its magic, basically. Uh, and before we have a result here, I can just mention that for those of you who are working with um, different markets or for different reasons need to adapt your content to different languages, I would strongly recommend to work with the translation function that we have added to this tool. I'm going to work with English today, so that's why I'm not doing any changes. But here you can decide, OK, what is the source language and what is the uh, intended uh, translation that I want to have? So I would really recommend you to, to try that uh, if you are working with uh, different languages already today. The second thing you can try is what we call optional instruction here to the left. And here you can actually tell the AI to focus extra on a specific theme or if there's a certain keyword that it should be giving a little bit more of attention. But that's optional. Now you see that we actually have a new kind of text, uh, so a new take on the blog post that we've added. So first and foremost, you see now that we have a new headline, a new creative one. And of course, as you can see, pretty obvious, we have three clearly stated takeaways from the blog post as well. So just by clicking one, one button, basically, we have a, uh, a new angle. And this is, as far as the AI goes, this is really everything you have to do to turn any kind of text into engaging content. As always in StoryKit, we are going to package this into a nicely looking 
video. So to get a better understanding of what the final result will look like, I would recommend you to click show storyboard here in the lower right corner to have a, a preview or overview of your timeline. And here actually the AI will have chosen suitable uh, slide types, animations, transition, everything for you. So don't, you don't need to spend any time here changing that unless you really want to. Uh, so this is everything you really need for your video to look professionally created. The last step we want to do is to add some kind of background assets, of course. And we're doing that on the left side here. So just click any of these image icons and then just upload or choose from the stock library any kind of nicely looking assets here. I'm going to go with a couple different ones. Um, here we go. And now you can see that the timeline in uh, real time is adapting to the assets that I've chosen. And when once we feel done here, we have uh, our new angle, our new perspective. Uh, we have the nicely looking assets. We have the animations and slide types. We're going to continue to uh, the next step, which is clicking view storyboard. And then we have a nicely looking overview. And then importantly, we're going to click create storyboard. And this is going to take us to basically the final resort in StoryKit. So in here, um, the AI, as you can see, has already done everything for us when it comes to packaging, um, where the text should be, how it should be uh, transitioning and animated. So if we're done here, just click Create Video in the right corner. I'm going to go with a full HD uh, version today. Uh, and then we will have our our video rendered for us and it's ready to be published wherever you want to. And that's just how easy it is to use our AI. Uh, I hope you learned a lot today and that you want to try it out yourself. So thank you so much for watching and good luck.